this is gonna be my third video I think about Ipswich Town but um, yeah look I thought I'd do it again because I finally figured out how to get the how to work out the al YouTube algorithm if you've been following the um, EFL championship uh, you'll see that Leicester City's leading the championship what only a few points behind them is um, Ipswich Town who until uh, a couple of seasons ago were actually struggling just to get out of League One and now they find themselves um, in the race for Premier League promotion. They're, they're clearly a club with the, um, with the momentum at the moment and look, I've really, really, really enjoyed watching them play. Um, they've got something that under Kieran McKenna, they're playing a really, really nice brand of football and um, yeah, they've made it, made it long continue and you know, they might you know, I think a lot of people besides Leicester, they would have been tipping besides Leicester, Leeds, Southampton, but Ipswich Town has certainly shown a flight in the ointment there. And I guess Ipswich Town's rise is good news for um, Southeast Asian fans, particularly Indonesian football fans. Of course, Indonesian football fans have had to go through a lot. They had the, you know, the stadium troubles a couple of seasons ago. Um, and there's obviously years of corruption and, and uh, you know, despite being such a, a massive country, uh, you know, huge population base, Indonesia's really um, just kind of struggled to really uh, catch on, even though the passion for football is clearly there. Um, I guess, the, you know, the evidence is there. They've never won their domestic AFF uh, Suzuki Cup or Tiger Cup as I had grew up to know about it, uh, even though they've made the final probably about four or five times. Um, quote me on that but yeah look there is certainly hope um, because uh, Ipswich of course have uh, Asan Elkan Bagot I, I can't now apologize I've pronounced it I've, I've messed up the pronunciation there um, but yeah look the um, the 20 the 20 21 year olds uh, center back um, has well he hasn't made as many starts for Ipswich this season he's certainly been earmarked as a player of the future and has certainly uh, in the in the EFL Cup and midweek games, he's uh, really really impressed. Particularly, you know, playing against like Wolves and Fulham. Um, look, I mean, Ipswich, you know, they had to come back from behind against Wolves and uh, they lost to Fulham. But yeah, look, I think they're obviously playing a B team with their full focus on Premier League promotion. Uh, of course, uh, Bagot, if he does make the if Ipswich do make the Premier League and Bagot stays with Ipswich Town. Um, and makes his debut in the Premier League. He's not going to be the first Southeast Asian to play in the English Premier League. That honor goes to uh, uh, New as rich uh, naturalized um, English uh, Filipino, who who um, you know decided to represent the country of his uh, mom's. Uh, of course, when he couldn't get a chance to England, and yeah, has um, yeah, proven to become a massive massive uh, star for the Philippines who have become one of the rising um, powerhouse, surprise powerhouses in Asian football. Um, Ed Rich, of course, ha had some spells with Fulham. He's now playing at Birmingham City and he actually saved a penalty uh, against Bournemouth. Um, no, I'm not going to show that just for fear of incurring the copyright gods. But, you know, Elkan will certainly almost be the first outfield player to, uh, of, you know, to, you know, form, to represent Southeast Asia in the Premier League. And I think he has got a very, very bright future. Look, having seen him play, look, obviously he's playing, when you're playing, you know, you're playing the likes of Bristol Rovers, it's uh, compared to like, you know, Bayern Munich, it's... You certainly can't say whether he's going to be like, you know, one of the best defenders in the world, but I think there are elements in Elkan's play which you make you think yeah this kid does have this kid is quite a baller I mean he plays center back but you could you could see him playing defensive midfield because he is very good at bombing up bombing forwards and he's just so solid on the ball so assured uh, at such a young age in his early 20s that's you know a lot of older players uh, don't often have that and um, you know the fact that of course he's you know, not necessarily come through the traditional English system. Um, and, you know, I, I guess um, you know just shows you, you know, this guy, this uh, this guy can play. Of course, when I say English system. You know, you you know your your big clubs like your Manchester. You're going through like Manchester City, Manchester United academies. Um, like I guess he's had to kind of work through to get into the Ipswich uh, Academy. And yeah, he is certainly one that I'm sure Kieran McKenna's earmarked for the future. Of course, he's done a lot of, he's already played a lot for Indonesia. 
Um, interesting fact, of course, um, he his mum is Thai, not, uh, and he was actually born in Bangkok before he moved back to England. But he chose to represent Indonesia due to his uh, sorry, no, he's not his mom's not Thai, he's Indonesian, but he was born in Bangkok. Um, but he chose to represent Indonesia um, because of his his grandmother. So and yeah, so it's sort of like a yeah, he's gone around a bit all over the place. It's a little bit confusing there. Born in Bangkok. Uh, raised in England and representing Indonesia so yeah so look certainly the start you know you know you kind of need these embers to start for Southeast Asia as I've said many times it's a region that really should be producing far more footballers than it should I mean particularly now we're seeing the rise of Asian footballers in the Premier League there you know your Son Heung Min, your Huangs, your um, uh, you, you know uh, um, Mit Mitomas they're really making a mark for Asia and you know it is a growing region growing population there's uh, there's so much potential to attack which and I'm sure there will be a lot more you know Alcan will be the first of many many hopefully to come from the Southeast Asia so yeah, Malaysian Premier League football would be pretty amazing so so that's my thoughts um is Alcan going to be in the Premier League I think so but you know I'd like to hear your thoughts and if you like this video feel free to like and don't forget to subscribe